Render failed. This is one of the most infuriating but few glitches that Final Cut actually has and I hope it can help. This is going to be a pretty quick video and I've added timestamps so you can just skip ahead to the bits you want. However, if this video does help you, it would really make my day if you could just take the time to hit that subscribe button by way of a thank you. Um, I also have a Patreon if you want to support the channel and um, that would just make my day as well. So onward. I've got this project that keeps failing no matter how many times I kid myself into thinking that I'll get a successful render if I restart my system, close all other applications, or some other superstitious action. Usually the reason that your renders fail in this way is from using third-party plugins and then reacting in a strange way to whatever else is in your project. So that's what we're going to be looking for and we have to accept that whatever it is that's causing the problem in your project, it has to change. It is tempting to watch the progress bar to see how far it gets through before it fails and then try to guess where the issue is in your video. Don't bother, there's a more simple solution. The key is locating the problem effect. Instead, you need to look in the folder where you've been trying to render your video. You'll find two files. One, I believe, is the audio side of things and the other is video. On a successful render, these two are merged. Preview the video file and skip to the end of the clip. You'll notice a point where the video stops and that is your problem area. I found it in my project and as you can see, in this case, it's a simple screenshot that's meant to have a zoom effect in which that zoom effect must be the issue. I'm just going to remove it and keyframe a simple slow zoom. Hit render once again and lo and behold, it works. Of course, this is not the only reason that your renders could be failing. It could be due to lack of disk space. You definitely want to have at least 25% of disk space on your drive that you're rendering to. Or it could be relating to having some kind of corrupt files. And for that, you can delete your render files by highlighting your library and then going up to file and clicking delete generated library files. This could work, but in my experience, not often. I know this is not an ideal fix, but it is just kind of what we have to accept as being the nature of video editing software. And this is when I get comments from people saying that uh, this sort of thing doesn't happen in DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. And come on, guys, this honestly is just something that happens in all editing software and no NLE is bulletproof. Anyway, that's all for now. I just hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know in the comments or just, you know, give it a like and that tells me and the algorithm that it's content that's okay. If you did enjoy this, I have a back catalogue of hundreds of videos about videography and audio, of which the algorithm has chosen this video for you to watch next and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot a better video. See you guys.